once a year for two weeks. An irresistible combination of sun, sea, sand and celluloid draws the entire world's movie industry to a tiny corner of the French Riviera. So, Will Smith, fantastic to meet you. Now, we must just say, you know, being sent to Hawaii to talk to, you know, yeah, yourself, you know, it's not a bad old gig, is it? Listen, really? I'm there for you, man. I'm there for you, you know? Hello, I'm Tony, and you're watching Entertainment Today. And on this particular Friday, I get to use my favourite word, which is triskaidekaphobia. Hey, firstly, you are looking gorgeous. Well, of course, you can say that firstly, and lastly, and secondly, and whatever you want. I'm too old. For Elvis Presley. No one's ever too old for Elvis <laughs> Presley. I am. I never liked him. What's your favourite Elvis look? Was it the young Elvis when he's ready to go in the army? Or is it the big, fat Elvis? No, no, the big, fat Elvis, no. no? Younger, younger Elvis. But a lot of people were really, you know, like big. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Love it. I wish I knew you. See, you did. I'm going home. <laughs> well, it's old baby, baby. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Sky Movies Classics. Characterised by low lighting, low budgets and for many of its characters, low morals, film noir has long been a staple of Hollywood's most prevalent genre, the crime thriller. Born out of post-war ambiguity and cynicism, Noir held a mirror up to the America of the 40s and 50s, sounding a cry of distrust that can still be heard in cinema today. Well, we laid on the weather for you. I know the British summer hasn't been great so far, but, you know, we thought we got the shades on. We I've, might as well make the most of this glimpse of sunshine. Sure. I brought it back from Ibiza with me, you see. I've just been in Ibiza. I've brought it back for everybody else to share. I thought it'd be quite fitting to visit my rock room to talk to a man, a part of a group collectively, uh, of living legends. Nick Mason from uh, Pink Floyd, thank you for talking to us. Pleasure. The Phantom of the Opera is here inside your mind. 21 years ago, sorry for that, the Phantom of the Opera first opened its doors here in London's West End. Yeah, put it on. It's part, part of theatre history. Here we go. Let's, let's, let's just pop this round there. Oh, look at that. That's... Uh, <laughs> It's better on you. What? Inside your mind. Oh, do I get the door? Oh, look at this. He's feeling threatened now. I He's think I'm out of work. I've been bombed out of The one woman soap opera continues to steal all of the headlines, and this week it's no different as Britney Spears was released from hospital over the weekend, but not after more headline grabbing behaviour. I'm here with Matthias Dolderer, who is my pilot today. Tell us a bit about this aircraft, because it's to, really close up, it's quite a small thing. Tell us a bit about it. Ready to go? I guess there's no turning back now. Let's do yeah. it, Matthias. OK, are you ready to rock and roll? We're ready to rock and roll. And let's go. Delta November Alpha, taking off to one. Delta November Alpha, Roger, sir. Wind south, westerly, one six knots. Here we go, then. Right, yeah, let's go. Not your normal takeoff, I must admit. 180 knots to go for a fast drive. Watch out, it will be really fast. <laughs> That's a fast roll. Four point roll. One. I'm soaking with sweat. Um, I think I've lost about three pounds. I feel a little bit sick, um, but that was possibly the most amazing thing ever. 